Okay, let's open up our cooler here and see what we got. Here's our ball valve from a competitor and let's see what happened to that guy. Oh yeah, there's the brake right there. That's what they do. They crack right on the side. And then you got to replace the whole valve. All right, let's see what our freeze tolerant ball valve did. See if it tolerated the freeze. Okay, all righty. And that's what it does. It pops out that little freeze plug just like it's supposed to. And the rest of the valve is good to go once it thaws out. Let's do a little dunk tank here. Let's get both these guys in here for a little bath. And let's see what we got here. Get the ice off of everything. And on our freeze tolerant one, there you go. It just popped out that freeze plug just like it's supposed to. Nothing else is cracked on the valve anywhere. That's why we call it a freeze tolerant. It tolerates freezes. There you go. Just change out that freeze plug and you're good to go. Now on our competitors, this even has, see that's what they do, it just cracks the side of it there, then the valve is ruined. And even this tapped one doesn't drain the water out of the middle, that's just the outlet side of the valve is all. So, which valve would you rather use? What do you think your customers would like? This or that? You got a five minute repair there and there you got half an hour to hour repair depending how good you are at changing these babies out. Thanks for watching.